Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. And as we are finished with the Quizzy App tutorial series, uh, now I'll upload uh, some like a topic-wise videos. So yeah, in this video we'll uh, we'll see how we can use staggered grid layout uh, in the recycler view. And yeah, if you haven't watched that Quizzy App tutorial series, uh, link is in the i button. You can check it out because uh, we implemented a lot of things like we use uh, Jetpack Compose a navigation component. We created whole app using MVVM architecture and we also use a Firebase authentication and Firebase Firestore database and a lot of things. So yeah, you, you can learn Firebase services, MVVM architecture, how it works and all that. So yeah, you can check it out. So now coming to this topic, uh, we will create a simple app where we'll show the data inside a staggered grid layout. So yeah, I have created one empty project and in the activity main, what we'll do? I'll first delete this uh, text view and then I'll search for recycler view. I'll drag it here and I'll constraint it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent and then load width will be match constraints and also height will be um, match constraint and we'll add some properties here. So padding bottom of let's say 15 dp. And then uh, we'll provide some padding start of 10 dp and padding end of 10 dp. So yeah, and also I'll, I'll provide it ID as main container. So yeah, uh, first of all, just search for rounded image view Android uh, and we'll click on this first link. And we'll copy the implementation and inside the gradle script module on uh, the app level build.gradle build and then I'll paste it over here click on sync now and also in the themes uh, inside the values and themes we'll select a no action bar so yeah and okay so this one no action bar and so yeah then in here we'll first find recycler views id so recycler view find view by id r dot id dot main container so since we'll be using this recycler view inside the on create method we don't need to create a member variable for this so yeah and then we'll set some properties to it so set has Six size and we'll pass in the two here and then we'll uh, okay so in this video we'll be using uh, raw images like uh, I have some Im images in my PC I have downloaded some images so I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here so yeah, if you want to learn uh, how you can fetch the images from the firebase into the staggered grid layout I'll surely make video on it so yeah then what we'll do and make sure the images that you are copying inside the drawable folder uh, they should be less in size like uh, they should be around 50 to 100 kb or maybe less so yeah because uh, it it takes a lot of time to load and sometimes it doesn't load so yeah and then what we'll do uh, we'll create one model class and I'll name it let's name it anything so this will be photos and so since we are getting the images from drawable, so it is int. For that, we'll create one int variable and let's name it as image. And click on the generator, we'll create one getter for it. And also we'll create one constructor for it. So yeah, and that's it for the model class. Then we'll create one adapter. Let's name it as a photos adapter and this will extends to recycle view adapter so recycle view dot adapter and here we have to pass a generics but before that we'll create inner class and let's name it as photos of view holder and this will extends to recycle view dot view holder press alt enter here to create constructor for it 
and we'll do the with this on the difference annotation and then inside this we'll pass in the inner class and press all enter to implement some methods we need to get uh, rid out of this and also I'll delete this okay so at the top uh, I'll create one list so private uh, list of type photos and let's name it as an list let's just initialize it new or list and then we'll create one constructor for this class so new photos adapter and we'll pass in the list from the main activity here so this will be type uh, photos and m list then we'll set this list to our this class our member variable list and list and yeah then in the get item count m list or dot size and we need to create one layout for each item so click on the layout and select new let's name it as each item or you can name it anything and i'll delete this code and we'll, we'll write a rounded image view so yeah this one just delete this and then i'll write uh, android uh, press alt enter so yeah then uh, layout height this will be wrap content and then we'll provide a width to it so width and this will be match parent sorry and we'll have we'll add some properties here so like margin from start this will be 15 dp and then margin from top this will be 15 dp as well and we'll provide some corner radius so corner radius of this one of let's say 8 dp I'll just increase it to 12 dp and then uh, adjust view bounds and we'll pass in the true so yeah that's it and also we need to provide id to it so let just provide id and I'll name it simple image view yeah that's it now in the photos adapter uh, we'll create one rounded image view variable so let's name it as the image view and then this image view will find its id using item view so find your id r dot id dot uh, it should be image view so here we need to inject the layout in the on create view holder so we'll create one view and this will be equals to layout inflator dot from and we can get the context from parent dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot each item and then we'll pass in the parent and attach to root will be false and then return a new photos view holder will pass in the view and then semicolon so inside the on bind view holder what we'll do we'll write holder dot image view dot set image resource uh, make sure you select this because we'll be providing id here so yeah and then uh, what we can do we have this list dot get will pass in the position and then dot get image and yeah that's it so our adapter is ready now we just need to add some data to the list so we'll create one list here list of type photos let's just name it as a m list and initialize it so new array list and we'll add some data to it so m list dot add this will be new photos and here we'll write r dot drawable dot pick one and then semicolon so i'll duplicate this so many times and yeah let's just make it two and three so yeah our list is ready now what we'll do uh, we'll set the layout to our recycling view so set layout manager new staggered grid layout manager so yeah this one so here we need to pass our first parameter as a span span count so this will be two we just want two images uh, horizontally and then uh, we'll provide layout that we want and we want a staggered grid layout uh, which is vertical so click on that and then send column okay and then we can create object of our photos adapter let's name it as adapter new photos adapter and here we need to pass in the list 
then we can call our recycle view dot set adapter and we can pass the adapter so yeah so yeah that's it now i'll click on the run button and we'll see how it works or not so i have connected my device and yeah let's wait so as you can see uh, it is working and we can uh, reduce the padding start so let's make it zero dp and yeah so yeah now it looks cool and yeah fine so yeah this is how we use a staggered grid layout inside the recycler view so yeah if you want to fetch data from internet or firebase uh, it will be the same you just need to work on the like how we, we can fetch the data and remaining stuff that's going to be the same so yeah uh, maybe i'll make a video on it like we can retrieve the images from the firebase and we can display it on the staggered grid layout so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching